it's me tiger welcome or welcome back to my channel today we have a very fun special video an extra video also this is a collaboration with a ton of animal crossing youtubers and we're all doing a squishmallow themed build on our islands or in happy home paradise or just i don't know in animal crossing in general we're doing a squishmallow themed build that's all that matters there are so many talented creators involved in this collab and this was put on by the lovely Angela and Donnie so thank you to them for including me in this I am so excited you know me I love squishmallows be sure to check out the description for all of the other collaborators so you can check out their squishmallow builds as well as I said you guys know me I love squishmallows especially Sophie the lamb I just I love her she's adorable I've been like trying to sell a lot of my squishmallows lately because I have way too many Sophie is the one that like I know for for sure I would never get rid of I just adore her she's the cutest so I thought I would do this build inspired by her and I know one of the rules for this collab was to like incorporate elements from their tag and bio and Sophie wants to be a fashion designer that's what her tag says so you know building a little farm for her might not seem like the best but she is inspired by flowers so and, and there are flowers in this build <laughs> so I think it makes sense for Sophie to have this but we are going to be building a farm like I said we just built a little like flower farm garden type of thing on my island recently so I'm sorry if you're tired of farms but I did mention that I wanted to have a more traditional farm on my island with the new crops that we got back in November with the 2.0 update so that's what we'll be doing today as you can see i've already terraformed a little area on my island for this build and i started laying out some of this dark dirt pathway which is where our crops will lay um, in this build. I'm also going to be laying down some of my dirt pathway. I usually cut this part out of my speed builds, but a few of you have requested that I actually leave it in so you can see how I place down the path. And it's not a huge pathway this time, so I figured I would leave it in for you so you can see that. If you don't want to see it, you can just fast forward um, to the next part of the build. But I'm going to let some Demon Gummies music play while I do this, and then I'll be back to talk about the rest of the build. I finished laying down my pathway and now I just started on the build so I'm just placing some little brick patterns to go between our little like dirt lines I don't know how to describe that but the little dirt lines where our crops will be and I added some little details like some weeds and a dropped mushroom and then I just started planting our crops so I did use tomatoes in this build I thought it was cute to leave one drop tomato I don't know the tomatoes in this game are really cute although I do really strongly dislike tomatoes in real life <laughs> I also planted some carrots and some some potatoes I wanted to keep this like a pretty small farm since this is a pretty small area and I did want to obviously include some Sophie elements in this build which you'll see later but I did also plant some wheat over in this area and I honestly forgot to like time travel enough to let the crops grow completely so we won't get to see that today but I promise one day you will and then I just started planting 
I mean placing, not planting, I, I'm not planting a garden lantern, but I started placing some garden lanterns and other furniture around the area, some bushes and some more pathways and things. I did include a little bucket next to the farm, obviously I feel like a bucket would be at a farm. And I also put this like bath bucket item that you just saw. I did not know that existed before I got the items together for this build, but I thought it looked kind of like a water bowl which you'll see why we'll need that in a minute and I did put some straw fencing down and here we are adding some sheep into this build I know Sophie is a lamb so I wanted to do this really cool sheep concept console Kato sent me a picture from Pinterest and and by the way, Kato is in this collab. But anyway, she sent me a picture where someone had used a baseball cap and the sheep's hood from the game to create a little sheep. And I wanted to do that. So I did design my own little hat design for this. It was really easy. I'm not um, a pro designer or anything after this. But basically, I just had to make this hat the same color as the sheep's hood and then place it down right behind it and then yes it's a sheep it's a real sheep and it looks so good it's kind of wonky because you can see like the mannequin from certain angles but I'm still really happy with it and it looks so cute and I decided to add a bunch of little sheep around the entire farm in honor of Sophie our most adorable sheep lamb squishmallow and I thought it was just perfect for this build I love it so much I did end up adding more before the end of the video by the way I'm just I love this idea I think it's really cute let me know if you guys want me to like upload the design for the hat it was kind of hard to color match it but yeah if you guys would rather just download mine just let me know and I can upload it to the custom design portal but anyways I did add a little windmill on the cliff behind us so that we would have a cute little windmill in the backdrop I thought that would be fitting for a farm and then I planted some more greenery around some more shrubs flowers, wheat fields, you name it, all of that. I did want to include a gazebo in this build. I thought that this could kind of be the barn for like the sheep farm since that's kind of what this is. It doesn't look exactly like a barn. I was going to try to do like a simple panel barn build, but I've already used up all of the design codes um, that I can possibly download. So we just had to use a gazebo instead. And I did add a brick well as well <laughs> just so you know there was like a source of water for the sheep and the crops I tried to add this campsite sign in front of the gazebo to try to make it look more like a barn and throughout this whole video I kept debating if I actually liked it there and by the end of the video spoiler alert I did remove it because the browns just didn't match with the gazebo and it just ended up looking really funky to me so I did take that away but nonetheless I think the gazebo looks really nice here and I think that you can get the vibe that it's for the sheep I went around and added some more sheep um, <laughs> some more hats kind of to map out where I wanted them I didn't have any more sheep's hood in my inventory at the moment so I was just mapping out where I wanted some more possible sheep friends with the baseball caps and again just adding some more details to this build some custom designs some little furniture bits and some weeds and all that good stuff and by the way what is your favorite squishmallow I am very curious do you like squishmallows I'm kind of over them at the moment I know I'm doing a squishmallow themed build don't hate me for saying that I'm over them I'm trying to sell a lot of my squishmallows right now I'm just I don't know I think I have too many I think I overdid it and I am just like obsessed with a bunch of different plushies at the moment so I'm trying to like clear out all of my like millions of squishmallows to make room for some variety i still love them though especially sophie hence why i chose her for this collab i can't wait to see the other collab builds by the way i know that lex play is doing a build um based on malcolm the mushroom i am just so curious to see how that turns out but anyways i did add some more sheep's hoods around to create some more sheeps i put one over by the um water well that way it looked like maybe he was drinking some water I don't know 
and I also planted some flowers around since Sophie is inspired by flowers we had to make sure to have at least like a few flowers and over here I also wanted to add a silo because this is a farm and I thought that it was very fitting also give some height into the build add a little bit of a bigger item and also a tractor so so cute I was so nervous that I wouldn't have room for the tractor but I made sure to leave room because I really wanted to include that in this build and then I went around dropped some more items I dropped like some wheat around I think a carrot somewhere again just adding some final details into the build I did put a little hose reel over here it took me forever to find it in my inventory I'm sorry and then a gnome in front of it I don't know I thought a gnome would be cute I haven't added any gnomes around my island yet and I feel like we definitely needed one I also snuck a tire stack behind the tractor so maybe it had some extra tires and a little hay bale and I think that that's pretty much everything that I added into the build at this point before I ended up time traveling so that we could get the incline built because as you can tell I did place an incline back there and yeah so this is kind of where this build is this is the bakery that we built pretty recent this is Vivian's house we go up this incline and down this incline and we are here at the farm I did have to finish up the pathways since I couldn't place these final pieces before since there was some construction happening with the incline but I finished that up pretty quickly and then added a few final details like some leaf piles a little hay bed which I as soon as I added the hay bed Zell went over there and laid in it which I thought was really really cute but this is pretty much the entire build it's very crowded but you can also still get around pretty well through the whole build so I was pretty excited and that's where I find took away the campsite sign for good and this is the final product so I'm gonna move around some things and then we will take the final walkthrough I am so proud of how this turned out I love this build I love that it also has the cute little backstory of being inspired by Sophie the Squishmallow and be sure to check out all of the other collaborators videos there is a playlist down below thank you again to Angela and Donnie for asking me to be in this collaboration. I loved it. I am so honored. Thank you so much for watching. Also, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe for some more Animal Crossing videos. I love you guys. I hope that you have a great week. I will see you later. Bye!